Is this the end of StreamYard? A new platform called EVMAX has actually launched this year in 2022 and they have so many cool features. Looking at what they're doing, I feel like they're coming after StreamYard. Look, right now I'm on the StreamYard pricing tab. Now, if you're familiar with StreamYard, you know for the free plan, you're almost getting nothing. When I say nothing, it's something that you cannot professionally use. Not only you getting the StreamYard logo for the fleet plan, but you also getting 720p streaming. Plus you only getting 20 hours per month that you can actually use to actually live stream. Now, if I go switch to this new platform called EVMAX that I'm actually going to be talking about today, you can see on their free plan, they're offering you uh, up to 12 on-screen participants, fully branded overlays and backgrounds, full HD 1080p streaming, custom RTMP, visual background, on-screen templates, 5 gig of storage, and the EVMAX Pro Screen Builder Plus, they are offering you unlimited streaming hours. They are offering you their full features, except they are adding their EV Max logo. Now, if you want to step it up and remove that logo for only $19 per month, you're getting the logo removed. And on the top of that, they're actually giving you the ability to record your content and 20 gig of storage but hold on a second if i go back to streamyard for 20 dollars obviously they are removing the logo but you're still streaming in 720p obviously they are giving you the custom rtmp they're giving you pre-recorded streams up to six hours per stream and they're giving you multi-stream to three destinations now if you go back to ev max they are giving you actually more than that because they're giving you yes custom rtmp and they're giving you to multi-stream up to five destinations obviously this is not a comparison video but i just wanted to show you how this new platform is actually crushing streamyard melon and all these popular browser-based streaming apps however don't you think this actually sounds too good to be true? That's why in this video, I actually decided to actually test it. Full disclosure, I have not been able to use this uh, platform and go live with it. So this is going to be 100% new. Okay, so I'm going to actually log in into EV Max. I'm going to have a, a timer and I'm going to go live on my YouTube page and see actually if this thing works. Because if what they're saying here on the paper is actually true and actually works, then this might be the end of StreamYard. All right, so the clock is on and we actually getting started. So let's go ahead and actually go to EV Max right now. So this is what the EV Max page looks like. Okay, now I'm going to sign in. I already have an account with them. So I'm going to sign in and actually see how easy they say it is to actually go live with EV Max. All right, let's go. Logged in. There we go. So now I have two sessions open and I this is what I did when I was trying to test it the other day. I'm going to actually start a new session. OK, so this is what the actual uh, interface will look like. OK, so I'm going to go. Yeah, so I'm going to go here and click new project, I assume. OK, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to say um, EV Max um, first impression all right and i'm gonna go to single broadcast so go to studio boom all right and let's see what it looks like and i'm going to actually so this is what the interface will look like now we have the dark version or the light version personally i'm a big fan of the dark version so i'm gonna go to dark version okay see we got my camera is already in my microphone is right there okay which is cool um because last time i played with it so uh, again i didn't go live full disclosure so i'm gonna go ahead and actually go to settings and as you can see we got cam and mic okay so this is where actually you can get to 
add your microphone input okay again i'm using i'm just gonna use this red uh, raw signal from my black magic design so my atem mini and i'm gonna choose that one okay no color grading or anything and then for audio input i have multiple microphones connected right now but for this video i'm gonna go ahead and actually choose my main microphone and as uh you can see i got the signal from the microphone and i got the echo cancellation probably don't need this so i'm gonna remove it and noise maybe noise suppression yes in case because i have a fan running in the background so i'm gonna leave it on and for the other options i actually don't have control over it all right so i can see my picture is right here and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do add to stream okay so boom and i can see myself on the stream now we got the ev max logo obviously and they're saying low resolution preview which is okay for me and i'm going to go to broadcast channels here to see if i find my channel and looks like my channel is not added so i'm gonna click here to add your first broadcast channel so i'm gonna go ahead and actually as you can see you got facebook live linkedin youtube twitch and custom rtmp so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to youtube and i'm going to connect my um my actual youtube channel so login live production tips and tools boom and it's asking me if i want to allow ev max to access my channel looks like i don't have a choice so i'm gonna have to trust them and boom looks like my channel is here and i'm going to actually choose my channel and boom so now i got this tab here that i'm gonna actually add some title all right and then say i'm gonna make it public so i'm gonna be actually going live on my youtube channel just to see how it goes all right and um so it looks like i don't have anywhere to actually add um a thumbnail boom everything is saved here okay i also have an option to schedule it for later which is something that i don't want to do so i'm gonna click save okay now i'm ready to actually go live i have few things here i have video clips and I don't have any clip, I have backgrounds. I don't need any background. I have logos. So if I had a logo that I wanted to put somewhere here, I'll use it, but you need to upgrade in order to add your custom logo. So I don't need that. And for now, just for me, I just need just simple, uh, or, you know, just a simple stream of me talking, nothing fancy, okay? Just go live, okay? So let's actually hit the go live button and let's see what happens right now once you hit the go live button it says start uh recording so if you want to you want to record the stream obviously i want to record the stream so i'm gonna click start initializing and we'll see so it says it's recording and it says that i am live okay so if you're watching me live on youtube right now this is some live production tips and tools and i'm actually watching uh, and testing this new platform called ev max now i'm going to actually go to my timer and see now it's been eight minutes already okay so i'm actually going to go to my youtube channel and see if i'm actually live right so let's actually go here to my youtube channel oh okay so it looks like i am actually live on youtube now and i have few people watching well if you guys watching actually welcome to the live stream this is a surprise live stream i'm actually testing this new platform called ev max so guys i just ended my first stream with ev max on youtube right now and it was about it lasted about an hour and 40 minutes first of all i have to say for my first impressions the good i'll say it's so easy to go live with ev max it took me about eight minutes to actually go live completely be live on youtube it was so easy by using the actual normal dynamic scenes which is like the easy way to do things ev max the actual quality of the stream is awesome it's full hd 
Uh, I'm usually very, very picky even when even when using StreamYard. Uh, you know, I kind of find like the audio, the way they encode audio, especially for this browser-based streaming platform, it's not perfect. You feel like the audio is like, eh, right? But looking at, you know, what you get from StreamYard, Melon, I feel like their audio is actually okay. It sounds really, really good. It's not awesome. It's not something that I would suggest for if you're trying to stream high quality audio, let's say for like musical performance or a uh, church event. If you're trying to stream like a worship service in the church or a live event, I would say mm, try to always stay away from these browser-based platforms. That's my personal take. I feel like the audio is not that well. And the last thing, the image quality is as good as your internet connection is and obviously your camera. So for me, I usually have a lot applied to my image in OBS. So I'm definitely going to be applying some a uh, lot in OBS and use the visual camera from OBS. But if you have a camera, you know, you just, you can simply plug uh, your camera uh, using a capture card or something like a 10 mini and stuff like that. And it's actually going to be able to connect easily to EV Max and your microphone. If you have a USB microphone, it's going to be easy to easily just connect your camera and connect your usb microphone and it's so so easy to actually uh, have your microphone and the camera you know connected and everything actually surprisingly everything was in sync my lips usually in obs even in um melon app sometimes i have some problems syncing my lips and the audio from my usb microphone but i was surprised actually my lips and my microphone was everything was in sync which is awesome another thing obviously is the ease of use and the complexity that comes with it so if you want to go easy if you use to swim yard and you want to take it simple then go for it if you want to you know be creative and be yourself go ahead and actually use the pro scenes builder where you can actually customize have layers like in obs so basically it's like they're taking obs and they actually putting in in a browser and they are giving you all the flexibility of creating your own layouts and create whatever you want uh, in a browser and you actually have this screen for like a preview screen where you can customize and create your stuff and then once you're ready you can send it to program which is awesome it's like obs or any other installed or locally installed soft uh, streaming software which is awesome and then obviously i have to mention the fact that they are actually solving specific problems uh the pricing is awesome because you're getting full hd on all of their plans which is awesome so full hd 1080p on the free plan basically on the free plan you have everything except you're getting a watermark or the logo from ev max now if you want to pay 20 bucks you can pay the 20 bucks uh, and actually be able to uh, remove the logo and you're gonna have more than what you actually get from StreamYard, okay? One thing that I have to mention that I did not like, if you wanna play back a video, I feel like I tried it and it did not work. So you can actually go ahead and watch my live stream. I'm gonna put a link down below, but I tried to play back a video that I actually uploaded from my computer locally and it was actually an issue was laggy and I feel like maybe they are going to improve it again I'm gonna talk to the EV Max team and maybe they're gonna watch this video as well but that part is not perfect it's not there yet I feel like they still have to work on that other than that there are a few things uh, I feel like one other issue that I would say for most people are not used to this platform uh, there are a few things you kind of like you know I had this lower third that keeps popping up uh you know showing my name and everything i did not know how to remove it so it's kind of like those little things i feel like it's sometimes you may be overwhelmed by the features that they are giving you so they are actually giving you uh many features and for the first time you may be a little overwhelmed which is a con but at the same time it's good because that means you know they're giving you a lot of features it's good to get a lot of features but somebody maybe who doesn't want those features uh, it could be an issue, right? So that's a little bit of something. It's not a big issue, honestly, but you know, it's that. The first time it may look a little intimidating, right? 
But again, it will take you a few hours maybe to learn it and get familiar with it. Just do the basic. I would recommend if, you, if you're starting out, just use the basic uh, dynamic scenes where you kind of have different layouts and then, you know, you can simply switch between layouts. You can easily share your screen. You can easily bring in a guest so easy. The guest can easily hear you. I have a chat. I can chat with the guest uh, backstage, which is awesome. I can even talk to them backstage, which is even better. So uh, I feel like this is actually uh, an awesome uh, platform. So overall, do I think this is going to kill StreamYard? And my answer is yes. If they keep working on uh, all the features that they're actually offering, even what they're offering now, I say is actually better than what StreamYard is offering. I mean, StreamYard is actually more stable. Uh, it has, um, you know, obviously it's been it's been out there for a long time, and they have like the support stream deck. They use so many other features that this platform doesn't have yet. But so far, we have too many features actually, and other features that this platform ev max is offering the stream that doesn't have a melons which is like and they're offering those features for only 20 bucks which is half of the price of what stream is offering i can see one year two years from now what they are going to be able to achieve man i think this is gonna be the number one browser based um platform uh, hopefully they're gonna keep up what they're doing and kudos to ev max team i'm impressed and i feel like all the people who were watching me actually live were impressed as well so guys go ahead and enjoy the free plan and keep trying it keep testing it myself i'm gonna keep testing it as well so but so far it looks good and i'll actually recommend you to actually go ahead and get yourself a free plan if you're looking for a streaming platform and test it if you're not ready to go browser based if you are uh, looking for something like let's say if you're using obs and you kind of want to keep it that way so one of the issues you have with obs sometimes not only it doesn't have the ease of use but it's so it's also complicated to actually be able to bring in guests so if you're using obs and you actually want to be able to bring in guests within obs for free i've actually made a video using a platform called video ninja which is another free platform that you can use to bring in guests so make sure you go ahead and check out that video and i'm sure you're gonna enjoy it but other than that enjoy the ev max platform thank you guys and take care